So you want to learn how to take a picture of the moon with your DSLR camera. Lucky for you, I'm going to show you here in this short tutorial. What you're going to need is just a couple of basic things. You're going to need your DSLR camera, your telescope, and your tracking mount. Now most telescopes in today's world do come with tracking mounts unless you buy Dobsonians or something like that where they're usually just a push-to system. But more of the computerized ones will always have go-to technology and they will always track for you. To do any type of astrophotography it is definitely preferred to have a tracking device on these. This is just a Celestron SLT and this has my AstroTech refractor on it. You don't need anything quite this fancy schmancy. You can do it with just your basic beginner telescope and and even something like the Celestron has different versions of the SLT that include a refractor or a small Maxutov Cassegrain. Those are all absolutely perfect telescopes to do with this type of imaging with. So your camera, what you're going to need is any crop sensor or any full frame DSLR. They both work just the same way as each other does. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to align the telescope on the moon with your eyepiece and then get it to start tracking and then we're going to replace the eyepiece with the camera. Now for this demonstration I have added a three times Barlow just simply because this telescope is extremely wide field. Not that that's a bad thing but the moon is like this big in the entire field of view of the picture. So in order to show you a little bit closer up detail I decided to add the three times Barlow. Now depending on your telescope type you're going to have a little bit of issues with focusing. Your camera on a refractor style usually will focus the camera without the diagonal in there. So you will have to remove everything from the end of your focus barrel back and just replace it with your camera. On something like a Schmidt Cassegrain, it doesn't matter if you use it without the diagonal or with the diagonal because they both will work just fine. Your Schmidt Cassegrain has plenty of travel in that mirror to be able to focus regardless of which one you decide to go with. Now for this, we're going to use some very basic settings. I have a special adapter on here that takes your Canon mount where your lenses would normally mount to and converts it to an inch and a quarter eyepiece barrel, exactly for something like this to use the telescope. After we have our telescope aligned and we have replaced the eyepiece with the DSLR camera, now you'll see the moon is on the live view screen here, but it's very blurry and out of focus. We need to take this focuser dial up here and we're going to move it back and forth. And we're going to try to get the moon to be as nicely focused as we possibly can. You can see it coming into focus just about there somewhere. Now what we can do as well is we can turn on the high power live view and zoom in a little bit closer here and look at some of the craters here and see there's a couple craters there and as we move this focuser back and forth we can kind of dial that focus in even sharper right about there looks really good you can see all, all types of different detail there and then we can zoom back out we can see the whole moon here and using our dial our exposure dial you can change the brightness of this I'm using ISO 125 now it is late in the afternoon it's still daylight outside but if we use an ISO of 125 we can adjust this exposure I'm going to do 50th of a second and we're going to give it a single shot and there's our photo of the moon now in different telescopes obviously you will have more detail at night you'll also get closer resolution of the craters and everything it's only because this is such a wide field telescope we have the whole moon disk image here instead of a really close-up view now you can fix this by adding even higher power barlows or other accessories to magnify this image some more but this little baby refractor just doesn't quite have that type of magnification capability like some of my other equipment or like a telescope that you may have so you can play with this for sure.
And that's all there is to taking a photo of the moon with the DSLR camera. I hope this inspires you to get out and do some photography of the moon with your DSLR. I look forward to seeing your shots out there on the internet. As always, stay tuned, clear skies to you, and have a great rest of your day.